Directories are apps, not websites. If you need logins, submissions, or an admin panel, you're not building a website, you're building an app. In this video, I'll show you the exact system that I use to build directories with perfect SEO using Firebase Studio by Google without the SEO mess that most AI builders create. And yes, what I'm showing you is free. And the reason this works is probably not what you think. Okay, we're going to be building an AI tool directory like this one, and it has SEO at its core. It'll have the features like you can get redirected directly to the tool, or the user can click on it and get more details about the, the tool. It'll also have an admin where new listings can be added. To do this, we're going to use Firebase Studio. Now, Firebase Studio is a Google product, but do not confuse it with Google AI Studio. Google AI Studio haven't had a lot of luck building good apps with it, but Firebase Studio, it's a total different beast. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to studio.firebase.google.com. It'll get you to a page like this. If you haven't got an account, just set one up. Now, to give me a bit of a quick start here, I do have a PRD that's going to outline the spec for the kind of directory I want, but it, it's not critical. You can actually just prompt it to build your directory, but if you want it, you can grab it at the link in the description to Online Ninja. So I've just taken a copy of the PRD. Now I'm just going to paste it into this prompt box where we can build our prototype, and then we just hit go. Now at this point, it's going to give you a summary of your application features. So you can see it's going to be a public AI tool directory, tool details page, it's going to have category filtering, search, AI powered suggestion, authentication, and Firestore integration. The other thing too, it tells you about the style guidelines. So if you want to change any of those styles, you can actually do this right here. So for example, if I wanted to change these colors, I could just say, make the colors you know, yellow and orange. And there you go, we get our new style guideline. So you could adjust the typography, the icons, the animation, all of that. But for now, let's just go with it and build it. Now this could take a few minutes, so I'll come back when it's finished. All right, so that took a few minutes, but we now have our app. You can see it's adopted the color styles that we requested. We do have these filters that all work and it's looking pretty good. The next step is we want to get our authentication working and we want to get our real database set up so that we can add new tools to our directory. But first we want to publish it. So to do that, we're just going to click publish. Now it's going to create the Firebase project, which is important because we need that so we can do our database and auth. The other thing, it's going to connect a Google Cloud billing account. Now don't freak out at this. Basically you've got to have like 10,000 hits on your site before you get charged one cent so it's not a big deal i call that effectively that's free and the third step here we we just enable the firebase services and then we will publish it okay so the publish is done it did hit an error but it has fixed itself now we're going to ask it to connect the database and do the authentication so i've just asked it to set up the email password authentication and the firestore database for the project and then it's going to ask you to just approve it. So start. Now, like any good AI vibe coding app, it hits an error, but the good thing is it actually recognizes it and it'll try and fix it itself. Okay, so our app has restarted. We've now got database and authentication, but I've noticed that we don't actually have a sign up. We've got a sign in, but no sign up. So I'll just get it to add the sign up. That's done, so we should be able to test this out. Don't have an account, sign up. An account's been created. So the authentication is now working. And you can see we are logged in. And we've just hit another error, so we'll get this one fixed. Okay, pretty easy. So this is where we can add the new tool. But first, I want to see the database. So we've got a whole bunch of AI tools already in there without having to do it manually. Now, this part's optional, but if you want to seed your database, I actually have a JSON file with all these AI tools and just speeds up the process of getting some tools in. So in Online Ninja, under AI directories, Firebase Studio, you'll see this seed data. So I'm just going to take a copy of this. 
Now, back in Firebase Studio, I'm just going to ask it to seed the database with this data. And of course, it says very obligingly that it will go and do this. It'll create a seeding script and it'll populate the Firestore database with these AI tools. All right, so all we need to do now is run the script it has created. To do that, we can just click on the code buttons. If you go up to the menu, you can go to terminal, new terminal, and it told us just to type in npm run seed. Okay, so we did hit a bit of an error when I when I first ran that script, but just pasted the error into the prompt. It fixed the permissions issue, and then it is seeded the database. And you can see now, if we go into Firebase into the database, we can see all the AI tools and the categories have been imported. It's just a good way, quick way to get your database set up. And here we go. So we're just about there. We have our application built. Now I've just got to publish it and complete the SEO component, and we are good to go. Now, our app has been published and it's looking pretty good, but we need to see if the SEO is working. And what I mean by that is, does every single page, i.e. every single tool, does it have its own unique SEO meta title, meta description? Now, if I click on 11 Labs, it comes the 11 Labs page. Don't worry too much about the formatting. Now, if I press Control U, we can see what Googlebot sees. Now, instantly, without going through it, I can tell that this is not generating unique meta title, meta description. And further to that, if I hover on the tab, it just says AI Tool Hub. Now, what it should have is AI Tool Hub, and then a pipe, and then 11 labs. So let's fix that. Now, this is where Firebase Studio really stands out. Because it's built with Next.js as the framework, to get the SEO per page is super easy. You just basically tell it you want each page to be server rendered and you want to generate that metadata, including the title and the description, and you can have all the rest of it if you want. But I'm just going with the basics here. So then it tells you, of course, it'll update it and there's its plan. So this has been done now and we've republished and we can take another look. All right, so the, the app is republished. I'll just hit a refresh here so you can see it's the latest and greatest version. It's out there on the web, it's live. If I click on 11 Labs, it shows the 11 Labs tools page. We also get this, you might also like, but the important thing is if I hover on the tab, straight up, you can see 11 Labs in the pipe AI tool hub. Now, if I do the control U to see what Google bot sees, we get the HTML that's rendered on, on page load. Now, if I do control F here and I search for title, you can see straight away that the meta title is 11 labs, AI tool hub. If I go in for description, generates high quality, natural sounding speech in any voice and style. So each page has its own meta title, meta description. You can add the open graph detail in here as well if you like. Now, in terms of admin, this is a fully featured app. If you are the admin, you can log in here and you can add the new apps. All that is working. Now, if you'd like to grab the PRD or get any help with Firebase Studio building your directory or other tools with AI, just head over to Online Ninja AI.